Hey, what is going on everybody? So today is just going to be an informational video in regards to the Google Chromecast. Now, what exactly is the difference between casting versus screen mirroring? And people have been using this word like interchangeably. So let me show you exactly what the difference is. But the first thing I want to do is get out of the way in regards to an iPhone. Okay, now with an iPhone, you're able to cast apps like YouTube, Netflix, there's some games, there's tons of apps, there's thousands of apps that you can cast. However, with an iPhone, you cannot screen mirror. In other words, in regards to iOS devices, they call screen mirroring basically, it's called AirPlay. You cannot AirPlay uh, anything that's iOS device, you can only cast it, okay? However, with an Android phone, you are able to not only cast, but you can screen mirror as well. Now the thing is, you need to have at least Android 4.4.2 version, and it doesn't even matter if your Android phone supports Miracast or not, because you're gonna be using the Google Home app. Now I'm using a Samsung Galaxy J5 here. This phone does not have Miracast support, but I'm still able to screen mirror it using the Google Home app. So let's do this first. Let me, let me give you an example of what screen mirroring is, and then, we're gonna, then I'm gonna give you an example of uh, what casting is. So first thing is this. Let me open up my phone here, and let's go ahead and screen mirror this Android phone. So I'm gonna go into my Google Home app right here. And then from here, what you wanna do is you wanna tap on these three lines up here. I'm gonna tap on that, and I'm gonna go down to where it says cast screen slash audio. Now this one says cast screen, so I mean, basically th this is screen mirroring because whatever is on your screen, oh, let me press on Google Chromecast here, is gonna be exactly on your TV. You can see here, even if I go click on the home button, everything that you see on my phone is gonna be relayed onto my TV. So let's do this for example. Let's just say, uh, let's just go to YouTube. Now if I play a video on YouTube here, now, of course, if I raise or decrease the volume, the audio does come out from the TV. Same thing with casting. Now, the only thing with screen mirroring is everything that I'm doing on my phone is going to be relayed to my TV. So if I press the home button, then my home screen is going to show. If I put my phone to sleep, my TV is going to go to sleep as well. Now, let's do this. Let's go ahead and instead of screen mirror, let me go ahead and cast now. So let me disconnect out of the screen mirroring here. Press on disconnect here. And now let's do this. Now there's thousands of apps that you can cast with, you know, but there are like a lot of games, uh, a lot of other apps that you're not gonna be able to cast. So for example, let's go back into that YouTube again. Instead of screen mirroring, let's cast it. Now you can see on here, you can see this casting icon right there. Now if I tap on that, and now it's connecting to my Chromecast. Give it a second here. And we'll let the same video play here. Let me lower down the volume. Now you can see that it is not mirroring. Everything you see on my phone is not exactly the same thing that is on my TV. However, the great thing about casting, if you can, like this YouTube app, you can, I mean, you can screen mirror it or you can cast it. If you can cast it, cast it. And, and why is casting better than screen mirroring if you can cast it? Because if I click on my home button, the YouTube video or whatever, your Netflix video or whatever app that is cast enabled, you're able to play this in the background. And you can still do other things on your phone. You can, you can make phone calls, you can send text messages. You can even go ahead and put your phone to sleep and it is still playing in the background. Okay, again, this is casting. All right, so what exactly is the difference then between screen mirroring and casting? Okay, now as you can see, you know, when I cast it, it's gonna cast from my phone. It's not gonna be exact mirror image, but I can do a lot of other things with my phone. Now, if I screen mirror it, whatever I do on my phone, if I put my phone to sleep, the TV is gonna go to sleep as well. Now, what's actually better then? I mean, if you have like a YouTube app, would, can, would you want to cast it or screen mirror it? Well, you would actually want to cast it. Why? Because you can do other things on your phone, plus you're not gonna be draining your battery, keeping your display on all the time while you're screen mirroring. Now, w when are times where you actually need to screen mirror? Well, if you cannot cast it, then you have no choice but to screen mirror it. For instance, there's a lot, lot of games, there's other apps 
Uh, if you want to surf the internet and put it on the big screen, you're not going to be able to cast that. You have to screen mirror. Another big thing is too, if you have presentations, photos, and videos, you can't cast it, so you have to screen mirror it. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or need any assistance or anything, just comment below. Thanks for watching. Bye.